Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. I want to shoot a quick video today uh, against my better judgment. I didn't want to really get into another hobby, but uh, down here at the Crater of Diamonds, there's a whole lot of pretty rocks. And some of the other miners actually gather these rocks up and they'll either cut them or they'll tumble them or both. So um, I went ahead and went out and picked up a rock tumbler. Uh, I told myself that I couldn't afford another hobby and I guess I changed my mind. So. Uh, I'm going to make a video real quick about some of the rocks that I've picked up out here and I'm going to go ahead and start a tumbling process and I'll kind of take you guys uh, along through it. I don't know if I'll get it all in one video, but uh, we'll at least start with some of the rocks that I've picked up out here. So uh, if you would, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll go ahead and get these rocks gathered up somewhere where I can kind of show them to you and uh, we'll get it started. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go around this morning and pick up some rocks for tumbling. Um, I'm basically going to just try and get, you know, five or six pounds for my tumbler. Maybe uh, just some of these jaspers that have lots of different colors in them. They're already fairly smooth, so it should be pretty easy to tumble those. Um, I have seen some stuff that says that you need stones of similar hardness so that some of them don't disintegrate faster than others. So um, today I'm going to just kind of walk around. I've seen lots of multicolored jasper out here and some banded jaspers. Um, just trying to get as many colors as I can, some interesting looking rocks. Probably go ahead and get some of the, some of the, the agates that are out here. Um, I've found a few. I'm over here. This is the west drain, and there's, there seems to be a lot more rocks over here that uh, just look neat to me. So um, I'll go around and gather some of that stuff up, and uh, toward the end of the day, probably have pocketfuls of rocks, and I'll just uh, lay them out and kind of show you what I'm going to start with. All right, so there is the bottom side of the west drain. That's where it actually exits the park boundary right there. You can see the sign. So I've already picked up a lot of rocks back in here. I'm going to make one more pass. Um, there are a lot of uh, little pieces of agate back here. I'd kind of like to have some thicker pieces. I've got a couple that are like an inch thick. Um, I may invest in a tile saw and slice some of those and see how they look. Some of the agate slabs I've seen uh, are just really nice and pretty. One of my videos you've probably seen by now is, is uh, where I was set up up there and actually found a diamond. So um, I'm gonna make another slow pass through here, kind of look around a little bit, see if I can find some more pieces of agate. too big for the tumbler. <clears throat> That's a nice little piece of conglomerate. I may see if I can bust that up. See if some of that will stay together if I tumble it because that would be really neat. I've seen one piece that's been tumbled that was real pretty. Let me try that. Another little piece right there. pretty good piece right there it might look pretty just cleaned up definitely coming home with me you can kind of see how the inside of that is different color and it's it's uh, you know this is a piece of busted Jasper that's why I want to crack some of these before I polish them so you can kind of see into that that different color on a lot of these there's so many different colors of Jasper out here you know that one's almost purple it might look pretty let me keep that one so there's some I think somebody had said at one point it seems like I heard that there were 27 different colors of Jasper here at the Crater of Diamonds. 
I'd like to have one of each. like two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. That's pretty neat. I'm going to quit picking up rocks. My bucket's getting too heavy. All right, so uh, I've got my, lo my uh, rocks laid out here. Um, I've got a pretty good, uh, a lot of different varieties of rocks here. I've got some conglomerate, lots of jasper. Some of it's got bands through it and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these and kind of break them down. The tumbler that I picked up today, I uh, haven't even got it out of the box yet. This is one of the uh, Harbor Freight you know, it's a Chicago Electric brand, which is Harbor Freight brand. Um, from the reviews, it looks like they're not too bad. Um, probably, uh, probably go through these uh, owner manual and stuff. Look and see if there's any tips I can pick out of that. Uh, so these are some of the stones that we're going to put in the tumbler. Big piece of conglomerate right there. some of these down a little bit I'm not sure how some of this is going to work because some of these are uh, pretty flaky when you break these the, um, that's one of the things you don't want is a lot of chips of rocks when you get in the later stages so uh, and if if you read up on tumbling a little bit like I said I'm new at this I've been reading a little bit but I'm going to kind of learn as I go but uh, when you get done with this first stage you kind of sort through and see what's going to progress to the next stage and what needs to be tumbled further on the very first stage so um, so yeah that's where we're at went ahead and broke open the uh, tumbler that I got you help him pop off put them in here there we go you want to put all the rocks in there okay you want to put them in that one Here. Good job. Put those rocks in there. Those Papa's rocks. Look. Yeah, Papa's rocks.
Where are you going? All right, so I've got the package of coarse grit, and I'm pretty sure this is only going to be enough to start one barrel today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this one started. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all the right sizes, but uh, I, I went ahead and repacked this one with uh, just the varying sizes and a lot of the smaller stones. I'm going to go ahead and get it started with this one package of grit. Um, I'm going to give it seven to ten days, and then I'll come back. I'm going to go ahead and bring some more grit and... Uh, those that look good can pass on to the next step, and those that do not look good enough, um, they'll go back and start over with another batch of stones, and that way I can kind of have two sets going at one time. Okay, so I've got my coarse grit in there, and one of the main things they say, um, you know, you've got water up, up just, to, just below the surface of the rocks. Want to make sure that the drums get a good seal so i'm going to make sure that that's pretty clean then uh, put it together and i'm going to get it started all right so we are up and running there uh, like i said i'm only going to do the single drum for right now probably pick up some more grit uh, the next time i'm going to let this run for uh, seven or ten days not quite sure yet and you can see that's not real loud. Uh, a lot of people have a complaint that uh, tumblers are so loud you just can't stand to have them in your house or anything like that. Obviously, I've got this out here in a shed, but uh, well, we'll look and see. Uh, we'll come back and check it and see how it looks. About a week, maybe 10 days. All right. It's been a week since I uh, started the tumbler going. I think today I'm going to go ahead and crack it open and see what everything in there looks like. Yeah, it's still running. It's a little louder than it was when I uh, started it. Okay, time to crack this thing open and see what we've got going here. Kind of excited. This is the first batch that I've ever tumbled. Have to excuse the traffic over here. All right. Looks about like everybody says it should look. It's kind of just a little slurry in there. Stones are pretty well rounded. They're smoothed up pretty good. I think these are going to look nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean all these up and I'll get you a look at these. You can see that some of these are going to need to go again. That's still got a lot of rough on it right there. There's some spots that can trap some of the grit. So that'll go into the next round. And some of these are going to just turn out beautiful. That's really neat. It's starting to show the kind of the, there was a band right through that. So that's going to be a real pretty piece. I think my favorite is the conglomerate. That may get rejected. That looks like it can trap some grit right there. I, I may actually just clean that. Well, no, I think that probably needs to go again. Yeah. Pretty nice little pieces here. That's going to be real nice right there. That's going to be a beautiful piece. Oh, that's going to be pretty. That's another one of the pieces of conglomerate. So yeah, I'm going to clean these up a little bit more. Um, one of the main things about polishing these rocks is that uh, you want to make sure that no grit passes from one stage to the next and that the rocks don't chip. 
that's got some crevices that'll hold grit so that'll probably have to run again that's got a little crevice right there as well <coughs> So, some will pass. That's one of the banded pieces right there. Some will go to the next stage. Some will be held back. And I think I'll make that a separate video. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm probably not gonna start another step yet. I'm probably gonna go ahead and sort these out and figure out which ones need to go through the coarse grit stage again, add some more to it that uh, I want to get tumbled, and then when I get enough to fill uh, one of the drums to three quarters full, I'll start the next step. So uh, I'll probably just go ahead and get another batch going and just hold on to these. I'll put you know those that need to go back in. Um, I'll get those started in with some other rocks and uh, check back in with you guys when I start my next step. Thank you for watching my video. If you would please like and subscribe.